temperatures should drop down to about 63, 64, somewhere in that low to mid 60s around 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. Clear and cool, refreshing air mass. And as you can see, by the time we get into 2 o'clock, how about those temperatures into the lower 70s? Not too bad. Now that may give you some ideas of going out and playing a little golf. I know I'd be one of them, that's for sure. If I wasn't working, I'd be one of those people. Morning tea time, mostly sunny, low humidity, 77 degrees. Not too bad. Middle uh, midday tea time around 71 degrees and this is what I've done here is I've taken courses by the coastline and inland kind of averaged out the temperature. That's where I'm getting these numbers from twilight uh, about 68 degrees. So the temperature does fall off during the course of your round, but certainly a not a bad afternoon right now. We see those showers situated well off to the south uh, down towards uh, Florida's area and the Georgia Florida coastline by St. Mary's picking up over the last 12 hours 2.6 inches worth of rain. So we're thankful we haven't gotten into that uh, realm. That's for sure. We've been fairly dry now as you can see <clears throat> well off the coast of Africa. Yeah, there are a little few waves, but nothing really to sink home and worry about. Uh, we get a little closer to home here. We have a weak wave of low pressure. It's not even tropical in nature and it is moving pretty much up the west coast of Florida, producing some of those showers and that is where it's going to stay because high pressure off to the north is going to build on in from the north. Now we've already had two fronts move through our area. That big dome of high pressure is pulling in northeasterly winds, keeping it not only breezy overnight, but breezy tomorrow and into Monday as well and keeping us also on the cooler side, I might add with temperatures holding into the 70s, upper 70s. Wind gust forecast, you can see by early in the morning, maybe 30 miles an hour right along the coastline, get into tomorrow night, still holding along uh, upper 20s to around 30 to, uh, mile an hour winds. But inland winds are going to relax quite a bit. Tonight, as you see, temperatures are relaxing quite a bit. Hazelhurst is 64, Jessup 65, Little Easy 65 degrees, Statesboro 60 degrees, 64 at Pooler and over towards Ridgeland coming in at about 60 degrees. We'll see those numbers rise throughout the morning going into the afternoon and getting up into the uh, 70s across the area. That was a little typo there, but 77 for Monday, 79 for Tuesday, 81. We do get into the 80s here, folks. Don't get me wrong here. 81 on Wednesday, 81 Thursday, 83 on Friday. Coastal showers will be seen Tuesday through Friday. As you notice the numbers, at least they're much, much lower than where they have been, which has been into the 90s.